You all are the glory of the Father, and I give God the glory for each and every one of you. I trust the Lord that you all are doing amazingly well, and I bless the Lord for your manifestation. Uh, to those who are basically liking and sharing, thank you so very much. I honor you and I love you so, so very much. To those who are watching and receiving, I, I honor you all. You all are just absolutely beautiful. To God be uh, the glory in Jesus' mighty name. I just want to speak to uh, the United Kingdom at this point in time, especially to the Prime Minister, uh, Sir Keir Stammer, I believe it is. Yes. And I just wanted to release this word because I believe, you know, the Bible tells us that, you know, God always reveals his mysteries uh, to each and every one of us. And I just want to honor the United Kingdom because of what God is doing in this nation as we continue to see the hand of the Lord move over the government, uh, over the people. And I thank God for the manifestation of his word, you know, uh, coming to pass. Amen. We thank God for the government. We thank God for the people. We thank God for the leaders and all at the same time. God bless each and every one of you. So, uh, the word to uh, Sir Keir Stammer at this point in time, um, I just want to read from the book of uh, uh, Isaiah and chapter 1 and from verse 7. It says, your country is desolate, your cities burn with fire, your fields are being stripped by foreigners right before you laid waste as when overthrown by strangers. Daughter Zion is left like a shelter in a vineyard, like a hut in a cucumber field, like a city on the siege. Unless the Lord Almighty had left us, some survivors would have become like Sodom, would have become like Gomorrah. So now you can begin to understand uh, you know, we've basically just moved from a dimension of uh, the conservatives now back to labor. And we thank God for that transition. Like I always say, I'm not here for any of those parties, not at all. I'm on the Lord's side. I'm not for labor. I'm not for any party. I'm not for any of that. I'm just here to declare the counsel of the Lord unto creation. So we can see that um, the Tory government, they've left. And now we have a labor government. And we can see the sufferings that the Tory government has placed upon the people, especially the injustice that has manifested from that camp in itself. Now we can see the justice of the Lord, which I basically uh, spoke here, I believe since 2022, when the Lord directed to do so, that for what they have been doing, God is going to be, so he's going to start reversing every plan, every law that they basically placed to bring injustice to the people, that God is going to begin to reverse them. And we can see the manifestation of this word come to pass in 2024, how the courts have begun to reverse everything that the what the labor the conservative government have been placing on the people because of the things they've been doing behind the scene we thank god because the lord began to reveal that majority of the policies that they were basically manifesting they were you know people that have basically bribed them yeah so they've been giving money and behind the scene they've been manifesting unjust policies in order to bring hardship upon the people now you can see why the father basically when i shared about the tree that was cut down helping to understand that the lord is cutting down the conservatives completely and why is he doing that helping them to understand that for what they've done and bringing hardship and suffering to the people they are not going to be in government for a very long time unless they repent and turn of the ways so you can see that right even after coming out of government there is still infighting that is going on and the father is helping to understand that this is going to be for a while why because for all of them in that government they are not for the people they are only for themselves yes they, are, they don't have any interest for the people it's all about position all about money it's all about who's going to be the next prime minister nothing about how are we going to deal with the people how are we going to sort the lives out how are we going to reconcile them back how are we going to bring justice to the poor to the widow and to the oppressed that is not on their agenda at this very point in time no not at all so for that reason 
The father says in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, he said, come, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. He said, though your sins are like scarlet, they will be as white as snow. Though they are crimson, red as crimson, they shall be white like wool. So for that reason, he said, you know, under the conservative government, he said, see how the faithful city has become a prostitute. She was once full of justice. Righteousness used to dwell in her, but now murderers. So you can begin to understand this is because of the injustice that the last government the conservatives have placed upon the people because he says the rulers are rebels partners with thieves they all love bribes and chase after gifts they do not defend the cause of the fatherless the widow's case does not come before them so you can see because they are rebels because they partner with the thieves and they love bribes and they chase after gifts it's for them about money and position hence why the father had to cut that tree down and move them out of the way now this this is what the Lord is basically speaking in, in this dimension in verse 27 from verse 26 he said i will restore your leaders as in the days of old your rulers as at the beginning afterward you'll be called the city of righteousness the faithful city it says zion will be delivered with justice her penitent ones with righteousness it says that what but rebels and sinners will both be broken and those who forsake the lord will perish so you can begin to understand from what i have read the father began to reveal you know concerning our sarcasm stammer in this hour because i believe very strongly the hand of the Lord is upon him because the Lord is using him to bring restoration of how leaders were in times of old, bringing it back into what? Into the United Kingdom. Because this nation is once again moving into a dimension of the reputable city, the reputable nation it had always once been. Can you see that? So because of the justice that is being restored, the Father is what? Is restoring the nation as it was with the leaders is of old yes that justice is manifesting so i want to speak in this dimension because when all of these things is manifesting there are a lot of people who might not want this to happen for this nation a lot of people are thriving especially those who are in places of wickedness that as long as the united kingdom remains a place where injustice is thriving where all of this is is manifesting they are making themselves wealthy by the sufferings of the people so for that reason, because the hand of the Lord upon this government in this hour, as I basically spoke in times past, that you will see unity manifest over this government. And because of that unity, you will see it in the streets. And to God be the glory, as you can see, the unity was manifested in the House of Parliament. And then when the riots broke out, you can see how the nation rose up together in unity to come against the rebels. So you can see that because the Father is using unity to restore the land. And there are some people who do not like what is happening. So with Sarkir Stammer, the father is basically speaking, he said, be sober and be vigilant because they have infiltrated the ranks. And because they have infiltrated the ranks, what they will begin, what somebody will begin to do in there is begin to plot, yes, to remove Sarkir Stammer out of position. Yes. So there's a, there's going to be a time where some people will rise up and they will want to oust him. Yeah, there will be plans, yeah, plots and schemes to remove him from government in order to basically bring disruption to what God is doing. But the father in this hour is saying, my hand is upon that man, that every plan and every scheme that anybody is intending to raise up within the labor government, that this shall be what? It shall be cut down. Because why? The wall of fire is around that man and his government at this point in time to bring back what the thief came to steal, to kill and to destroy. So this is the word that the Lord is speaking that there is going to be a time that they're going to try to rise up to oust the labor prime minister but their plans shall fail miserably yes it shall fail miserably and the reason why it will fail is because the hand of the lord is upon him because of what the father intends to do over this nation he has heard the cry of the people he has seen the injustice and he has declared that enough is enough so for the plans that is manifesting over this government it shall not be thwarted in the name of jesus so father 
I just release the justice of the Lord into every plan and into every scheme of the enemy concerning the prime minister. So I declare to the authority in the name of Jesus, whatever the enemy is plotting and scheming, it shall not prevail. Over the government, it shall not prevail. I release an angel right into number 10. The same angel that stood in the garden of Eden at the very entrance with the sword drawn, that the sword of justice has been drawn against every plan and plot and scheme him to disrupt the plans of God in creation over the United Kingdom. United Kingdom, you're blessed, you're whole, you're walking in the perfection of the holiness of the Father. As restoration is upon you, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I just release the justice and the mercy of God over that in itself. So Father, we thank you that it is done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. So let's just continue to put Sarkir Stama in prayer because for what he's doing, a lot of people, yes, especially those who are wealthy and people of power, they will not like it because they don't like to see things. Yes, they don't like to see things come into what? Into normalcy. They prefer chaos because they thrive in making money in chaos. So for that reason, the father is saying enough is enough. I'm with this man and I will see him all the way through. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and Amen. God bless you because you all are the blessedness of the Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I love you all. God bless you.